Hey, what's up? My name is Jackson Thornton, and welcome to the second video of the week, and the second video ever for the Torch News. Once again, I would just like to say this is a newsy, vloggy type show, so kind of like a Philip DeFranco source fed type thing. Now let's kick it off with our first story of the day. Google. We all use it and love it. It helps us figure out how to do everyday tasks, such as maybe cook a certain dinner or fix a broken shelf. We can watch fun YouTube videos, learn to bake a cake, or save your kid's life. Yeah, you heard me. Save your kid's freaking life. In Shrewsbury, UK, a certain Kean Jones was not quite feeling up to the weather. He was having consistent headaches, poor vision, and vomiting. And apparently, a brain tumor. The mother, named Sabina, was not content with the doctor's first diagnosis, so she googled the symptoms where she found out he could possibly have a brain tumor, which he did. Soon enough, she took him to another doctor and found out he had a 2.5 centimeter brain tumor, and if he had not been taken to the hospital, he would have died within a week. Kian had an emergency surgery at Birmingham Children's Hospital very soon after the tumor was first detected. Now, when I saw this, I was very happy, and for a few reasons. 1. The kid's life was saved. 2. I'm really glad to see that this mother was so worried about her son and she was just not happy with this first diagnosis and she took the time to actually really help her son. And 3. I'm glad to see that after that whole Lupe fiasco incident, we as a planet have once again used to learn Google. Learn to use Google. This video would have a lot of bloopers if I didn't edit them out. So what are your thoughts on the whole situation? Are you mad at the doctors who initially misdiagnosed the boy? Or happy for the mother and the son? Or glad that us as humanity can once again use our resources that are given to us? Now on to our unhappy sad time news. Caleb Moore has died late yesterday morning on account of his injuries inflicted during a snowmobile crash at his final round run at the X Games. One week ago, 25-year-old Caleb from Crum, Texas, did a jump and tried to do a trick and he landed wrong and now he's the first death of all of X Games 17 years. Which when you think about it, isn't that bad for 17 years of extreme sports games. But it is one death, keep in mind. ESPN has said that they are ready to make changes to the sport if it is necessary for they do kind of own the X Games which means they can alter the rules. And it's not like Caleb was this inexperienced guy. He had meddled four times in previous X Games, and the trick he actually crashed on was a decently routine trick for him. What happened is on one of the larger jumps near the end of the ride, he tried to do a backflip and doesn't quite completely get it around. The skis on the front of the snowmobile clipped in front and he went over the handlebars. On the way down the ramp, he, the 450 pound sled lands on what looks to be his head and back. I'll put a link in the description below to the video of the crash, but I'm gonna warn you right now, it's kind of gruesome and nasty, so I mean, if you're cool with that kind of stuff, then watch it, but I mean, if not, I don't recommend it. He was initially diagnosed with a concussion, but when they took him to the hospital and examined his whole body, he had bleeding around his heart and he had a brain complication. After his death, now there is a big question, should there be more restrictions to the sport, like smaller tricks and jumps, or should the sport even be allowed in the X Games, considering it is one of the most injury inflicting sports. In fact, his brother broke his pelvic bone uh, in the same sport the same weekend. So tell us what you think in the comment section down below or on our Twitter, which will also be in the description down below. Finally, to finish the video on a high note, Disney has released their animated short that aired before the motion picture 
Wreck It Ralph on their YouTube page, and it is titled Paperman. It's super cute and fun. It's about this working guy who meets this girl, but he's nervous, and before he knows it, she's gone. I like it a lot. There will be a link in the description down below, so check it. That's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment on the Torch's Twitter, my Twitter, or down below. Be sure to check out the site, thetorchnews.org, just like that. Put it in Google, first one that comes up. Uh, do that whenever you can. I love you. Uh, I don't have an outro. Bye.